Hey guys, it is Julie here with JT Wealth. We are about 24 hours away from the highly anticipated battery day for Tesla. So in today's video, we're gonna go over a few of those predictions for tomorrow's event, plus some outlooks for their Q3. So let's get into it. All right, welcome back everybody. First of all, thank you so much for being here. Like I said, today we are talking about a few predictions for Tesla's battery day. Now this is a highly anticipated event as it was originally supposed to occur back in April, I think it was, but had to be postponed due to our pandemic lifestyles at the time. But now battery day is taking place tomorrow, September 22nd at 1.30 p.m. Pacific time. So that'll be 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard. The event will start out with their 2020 annual meeting presentation and immediately following that will be the separate battery day event. Now, if you are wanting to watch live, it will be streamed right through Tesla's website. So you can go check that out if you want to watch it firsthand. Now, everyone is really excited about Battery Day as it's when we expect Elon Musk to share with us some of the technological breakthroughs that Tesla's had and just what we can expect looking forward to the future. And Elon Musk has certainly stoked this fire of excitement on Twitter, he's responded to a couple posts, one saying a closer look at the Tesla Roadrunner cell leak hints that battery day will be more insane than expected. And Elon Musk replied, it will be very insane. Another just asked any hints for battery day and he simply replied, it's big. But before we get into what the battery day predictions are and what they mean, this is just your friendly reminder to please make sure that you are subscribed. It does help us grow as a channel and helps you stay up to date. And if you like the video, make sure you give us a big thumbs up as well. Down below in the description, we do have some really great links too to my Patreon page, which gets you access to our awesome Discord group chat, as well as some links to Robinhood and M1 Finance, so some great sign-up bonuses for new investment accounts. So as the name of the event suggests, it is highly focused around battery technology. A big point of this being that Tesla is expected to announce they're going to now be manufacturing their very own battery. And on top of that, it might be a million mile battery. Recent acquisitions, leaked photos, patent applications, and research published by Jeff Don, one of the pioneering developers of the lithium ion battery and Tesla's head of battery research, all point to Tesla making this big shift to in-house battery production. Several photos of Tesla's supposed in-house batteries recently surfaced on electric. The batteries, which are rumored to be from Tesla's secretive Roadrunner project, appear to be twice the size of the Panasonic's 2170 cells. They also may be higher capacity while being lower cost for the company to produce by removing the tab. Tabs are what make a clean connection between whatever it is that the battery is powering, but they also require a lot of finesse to manufacture. So streamlining that process by removing the tab could be huge for Tesla as it would save them in time, material, and money. So this is an image on Twitter of the batteries that were leaked to them, and they say that they were able to get an independent source uh, to confirm that it was indeed one of Tesla's own battery cells produced with their Roadrunner system. So this new battery is expected to lower Tesla's cost per kilowatt hour which is the unit of energy most commonly used to measure the capacity of the battery packs in modern electric vehicles to under $100. And many experts believe that reaching that mark would allow Tesla to sell electric vehicles for the same prices as gasoline power ones, thereby making them far more accessible. One of Elon Musk's main objectives has been making the combustion engine seem obsolete to the consumer and make them feel like they really have to go electric. Steve Levine says that one of the ways to do that is to make people feel like the car is going to be a lifetime car. If a battery is going to go a million miles, if you count that out, that is 76 years. 
Now, I don't know about you, but that is a lot longer than I have ever kept or planned on keeping one of my vehicles. Tesla stock watcher DPR007 goes over why Tesla's tabless electrode patent is way more important than it sounds and could equate to a longer range, lower production costs, and less need for factory floor space. Because the cells are longer, and if there is room in existing designs of Tesla electric cars made in Fremont, there will be extra capacity embodied in the extra height. This means either more cells can be added for longer driving range, or a pack with a smaller horizontal footprint could be put to use in a vehicle with a shorter wheelbase. Remember those hints that Tesla might make an electric hatchback in China. Using estimated dimensions for this new battery pack form, he estimates that Tesla could increase their overall capacity output from 68 battery packs a day up to 720 battery packs per day, so over 10 times the amount. And that would be all within their existing factory space. And hearing from our favorite Tesla bull, Kathy Wood, she tweeted that, are there more fundamental breakthroughs? Would a 90% plus decline in each of the three important variables, assembly line labor costs, cell cost savings per unit of energy, and factory floor space change the slope of the line, accelerating the decline in costs from 18%. According to Scorus Arc Research, other companies focused on EVs are three to four years behind Tesla in battery technology already. The question is whether these breakthroughs will help Tesla pull away even faster. Another point to look at and consider when we are talking about battery day predictions are some of the patents that Tesla has filed for in this last year. In December of 2019, Tesla submitted an application for a patent on a substance that could enable a better, longer lasting, and cheaper battery for electric cars and home storage products. In April, another patent application was submitted, this time for something called a single crystal nickel cobalt aluminum electrode. So in a paper published regarding the significance of a single crystal cathode, Jeff Don stated that they conclude the cells of this type should be able to power an electric vehicle for over 1 million miles and last at least two decades in grid energy storage. One other indication from Elon Musk is during an earnings call when he discussed the name of their next big factory. Now, instead of being called a gigafactory, he said that it may be called a Terra factory. If giga implies a billion or something, then Terra equals a trillion. Now, Tesla decided to call its facilities gigafactories because it was going to produce gigawatt hours of battery capacity. Then a Terra factory could imply a terawatt hour of battery capacity or 1000 gigawatt hours. That is 20 times the current capacity of Panasonic's production at the gigafactory in Nevada. One of Tesla's recent acquisitions provides a clue as to how Tesla could achieve this exponential increase in battery capacity. As back in 2018, Tesla acquired a company called Maxwell Technologies, whose biggest innovation is in dry electrode technology. Now this is said to be much more environmentally friendly than the more commonly used wet electrode, as it removes the solvents used in a typical battery cell through which the electric currents flow. But this dry electro technology also boosts performance and is more cost effective than the traditional wet electro technology. So Tesla transitioning to this dry technology would allow it to pack more cell production within its facility, therefore turning a gigafactory into a terafactory. So all of this leads to a lot of buzz surrounding tomorrow's battery day, seeing what Elon Musk announces, as we know he can be a little bit of a showman as well. So beyond this technology, what does he have in store? Okay, now one last thing I want to touch on. I know this has been a lot of information, but as we are approaching the end of Tesla's Q3, I just wanna speak about the outlooks. Now, in an internal email from Elon Musk to his employees, he said, we have a shot at a record quarter for vehicle deliveries, but we'll have to rally hard to achieve it. This is the most number of vehicles per day that we've ever had to deliver. It is also extremely important that we keep factory output as high as possible over the remaining 10 days. This is vital for the California market. So Tesla's last all-time high delivery record was in Q4 of 2019 when they delivered 112,000 vehicles. 
So beating that 112,000 vehicle deliveries could definitely be possible, especially when you consider that they delivered 90,000 vehicles in Q2 this year, and that was amidst a pandemic, so definitely some challenges faced there. But analysts are expecting about 130,000 vehicles delivered, so we will see if they can make it all the way up to that benchmark. Based on the amount of Tesla app downloads, the Goldman Sachs analysts think that they should definitely be able to beat that estimate, but they have maintained their Tesla rating as a neutral hold with a price target of $295. On the other hand, we have Daniel Ives, who's an analyst from Wedbush, who just increased his price target up to $475. So as always, the spread and outlook on Tesla remains quite varied and there's a lot left to be seen. So we will see what happens in the last 10 days of this Q3 for Tesla, and their expected earnings report date is coming in near the end of October. So that is my big lengthy prediction of Tesla's battery day and some Q3 outlooks there. I think there is a lot of reasons to be excited about Tesla, and tomorrow we should hopefully get some news that keeps us really hopeful for the future. As always, please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. I always love hearing from you guys. What do you think about Tesla? What do you think Elon Musk is going to announce tomorrow? And what is it gonna mean for the future of this amazing company? If you aren't already subscribed to our channel here, please consider doing so. And if you made it all the way to the end of the video, you better give us a big thumbs up as well. I hope you have an amazing day and thank you so much for watching. Cheers.